What up, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe so you get the playlist, the playlist on top where I have all my videos. And don't forget to make the video you're looking for a lot easier. Whether it's reaction, the G series, all that good stuff that they don't fold. That way you don't have to keep scrolling looking for the video you're, you know, you want. It makes it a lot easier. It's on top, as you say, home, video, playlist, bam, click on the playlist, all the videos are on their own folders. Now, and don't forget to check out my second channel, Madness Society, MOD, where I talk about other stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to get into is a question that I was asked by one of my subscribers, which was, can I talk about the um, gangster uh, baseball caps, right? That, um, you know, how does that work? Um, you know, because, you know, gangs do use, you know, baseball caps, you know, uh, you know, to, you know, to represent their neighbors. Now, like I said before, gang members don't have a way of dressing, but they do um, rock certain things in their apparel, right? Um, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a hat, um, you know, anything, you know, jacket, sweater, anything related to that. that. Um, because if a neighborhood is proud of the letter they represent, right? The letter your neighborhood starts with, that, you know, that's the letter you see them throw up. That's the letter you see uh, them, you know, ride and die for. Um, so nine times out of 10, uh, their apparel will have that letter, you know, on it, whether it's baseball cap or et cetera. Now, different areas, meaning different gangs. So depending the, the, the area you're in, because the same, uh, there's different gangs that use the same, you know, team, uh, but they're just located in different areas. Uh, for example, like um, the Giants, the San Fernando, uh, the San Francisco Giants is used by the Barrio Sanfer uh, in the Valle. But, oh, but they're also using the IE for Barrio South Fontana, you know, Barrio San Fed, because SF, and Barrio South Fontana, SF, uh, or Santa Fe, Locos, you know, SF, Santa Fe, um, et cetera. You know, so, so like that, so different teams use, so different gangs use different hats, just depending where you're at, you know what I mean? Like, you'll have the Padres hat, the, the infamous black with the yellow P, uh, you know, that one will be used by uh, Barrios in Pomona, you know, or in the San Fernando Valley, it's used for Pacoima. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Um, just depending the area you're in. Um, and yes, the hats do mean a lot over here. The hats do mean a lot over here. A lot of a lot of these individuals are looking for for the hats. The hats are a dead giveaway. You know what I mean? Um, the only hat that that is universal over here in LA County is the Dodger one. You know what I mean? The Dodger one is like probably the only one that's off limits. You know, it's probably the one that people uh, don't associate with a, with a gang, you know, because that's the Dodgers the team out here. You know what I'm saying? And the Lakers, even though like gangs like Silver Lake or, or East Lake, they use the Laker apparel, but it's still seen as universal to, to everyone down here. But like, let's say you're down here, my boy, and if you're rocking a, a Giants hat, my boy, or a, or a Boston's hat or anything like that, my boy, that's because you're not a that's not because you're a fan of those teams. Let me tell you that much. Because over here, my boy, you're either rocking with Dodgers, Raiders, or Lakers, my boy. If you, if you, if you, if you have a hat with a different team on it, my boy, uh, they automatically assume that it's because, you know, of, of the gang they're representing. And nine times out of ten, it does end up becoming that. Because down here, the fan base of these teams, these breaded teams, is that, you know, rooted in that. Any other team is seen as, nah, homie, you, you lying right now. <laughs> And that's true, you know what I mean? Um, there is some truth to that, dog. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, you see some guy with a with a you know Cubs hat, like man, you ain't no Chicago fan, my boy, right here. Where are you from, dog? Stop lying. You know, because the Cubs, you know, the C could be used for you know any gang representing the C. You know what I mean? Uh, Columbus, or, uh, um, Clarence. You know, like multiple gangs. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, the, the the hat, you know, like 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 my neighborhood, we use the Rockies, uh, you know, the Colorado Rockies, uh, obviously for Guy Radford, my neighborhood. Uh, so you'll see it on our sweaters, on our hats, on our shirts. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, often than not, people be like, "Oh, you're a Rockies fan," huh? and I'm like, "Nah, actually, no. It's for I'm a Dodgers fan. Uh, it's for something else." And they're like, "Oh, okay." Um, so, you know, like that. So, like, we, you know, see the CR hat. And I know what people are going to say. That's stupid. You guys are messing up the whole thing, you know, because of stupid cholos. You can't even wear the sports team look. Yes, I understand. I get it. It's stupid. It's dumb. Yes, it's, it shouldn't be that way. We all understand that. We get it. We know it. But that's just the way it is, bro. What you want? I'm just explaining how it is. You know what I mean? So, what you want, dog? We understand that. What you were saying but like i said i'm just explaining for how it is so you'll see it on 
their clothing, their, you know, like whatever, whatever items out there, gloves or belts or whatever, and it has their, 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 their neighborhood logo on it or the, the team's logo or whatever. Um, they're going to rock it, my boy. They're going to get it. You're going to see them sporting it, homie. You're going to see them sporting it. Um, and down here in LA County, it's, it's a big dead giveaway. You know, the hat is going to, is going to catch a lot of heads. You know what I mean? It's going to catch people's attentions in, in the ghettos. It is, you know, cause for example, you don't have to be from that gang that's in your area. You don't got to be from that gang, but everyone that lives around that area knows, you know, what these gangs like and what they don't like, you know what I mean? So if you're in this area and they're feuding with the with the with this other gang who wears that hat, you're not gonna go and buy that hat. You know what I mean? Um, you're just not gonna do it. Uh, you're not gonna buy the hat and then wear the hat in that area because you already know that this neighborhood just, it doesn't get down like that. You know what I mean? Because um, it will be issues. There will, you know. Um, um, like I remember, like in, in my neighborhood, you you know anybody wearing a Steelers jersey or the Padres hat, yeah. They, that that was not happening. You were we were gonna run up on you quicker than than you know flies on shit. You know, homies weren't. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know the the neighborhood that we were beefing you with. You know that's the thing that they rock. So you know we seen that it was it was it was on it was on on site. You know what I mean? Um, because nine times out of ten, um, it was because they were the rivals. You know. It's rare that it's rare that I hit up somebody in my time. It's rare that I hit up somebody who had like, like outside of the Dodgers, you know, team whatever, and, and they were not gang related. You, almost all the time, they were from a neighborhood. When I would ask them, you know what I mean? Because like I said, you're not rocking another team over here, you know, because you go for that team. Uh, you know, put it like this: the sports fan base right here is large when it comes to these teams. But at the same time, you have a lot of people that don't watch, um, that that are not like fanatics like that. You know what I mean when it comes to other teams. So you're not gonna be rocking a, a you know, a whatever other team uh, just because you like that that team. You know, but like I said, it just depending on the area. Like let's say, for example, if no one around you or where you live uses, uh, no one uses the Boston hat or nobody uses the the Chiefs or something like that, then you can rock that. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to worry about nobody running up on you because uh, those hats are not being used by gangs that are around your area. So you're allowed to use like other different, you know, hats without having to worry. Um, just depending on the if there's gangs around your area that that use that that team, then it'll be issues. You know what I mean? Um, but if there's none around your area that don't use that, then there's no issues. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about like, you know, oh, these fools gonna run off talking about like what's up with that. You know what I mean? They only do it to 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 the ones like let's say they beef it with somebody who uses that that team, then you know, that's why it's sometimes good to know this knowledge, you know, and, and your surroundings, you know, um, you know, just 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 in case you wanna be, you know, like, you know, you don't wanna be, you know, caught in a in a bad predicament, you know what I mean? Uh, I, like I have said, it's, it's, it's good to be aware, you know what I mean, of, of your surroundings, in my opinion. Um, not just because of the whole gang thing, but just in general, because you just never know what might happen, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, homeless man could run up and try to do something to you or something like that. But I'm just saying it's good to know your surrounding areas, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, how bad the areas are um, and et cetera, you know what I mean? Uh, if there's gangs around your area, you know, th that's all good information to know, you know what I mean? Just, just to be on the, you know... Uh, on the safe side, you know what I mean? On your toes. Um, because unfortunately, it is like this. Uh, it, it's fucked up that it has to be that way. Yes, yeah, very true. Um, but it is, you know what I mean? So it's better just to be, you know, on your toes, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Uh, the more knowledge, the better, in my, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so, you know, like certain areas, you'll have different things. Like, or uh, since we're process, passing the V and E project right now, uh, like they use the Yankees, you know what I mean, the Yankees. Uh, so and in the in the valley, that's Barrio Van Nuys or Pacoima Van Nuys boys. They use the Yankees. Uh, in in Norwalk, they use it, uh, you know, because because it, it kind of makes like a V and an N, so it's like, you know, uh, Barrio Nuevo or Barrio Norwalk or Van Nuys. You get what I'm saying? Um, so. You know, some some people, you know, they modify, they modify, you know, the letters or whatever to, to make it fit for theirs. You know what I mean? Like, you'll have the St. Louis one or whatever that's, you know, for Lock Street or, you know, El Sereno uh, or Langdon Street or, you know, like that. Um, because of the St. Louis, the S, the L, and the, you know what I mean? Um, 
but like I said, like you'll just have you know different ways of you know people writing it and modifying it and uh, to make it fit you know with their, you know what they rip it. Uh, so that's why you'll see them with with that apparel that team. It's not because they're a fan of that team. Like, oh man, I didn't realize that there was so many uh, um, uh, Steeler fans over here in Southern California. Like, no, actually, that's for something else. <laughs> I mean, there is Steeler fans and shit like that. But I'm saying, like, um, you know, when we see them, like, like in areas like that in the group, yeah, it's nine times out of ten, if it's the ghettos, my boy, it's because they probably gang related, my boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, the one that's probably universal is probably like the Raiders or the Dodgers, the Lakers, you know, like nobody's really tripping off of those because it's like that's those are the teams right here. So it's like he could just be a fan. That's how we see it. Like, yeah, he's probably just a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never trip on people like that because it's like, oh, he could just be a Dodger fan or a Laker fan or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, because, to you know, that's the teams down here. So it's like universal to everybody. So it's like. Uh, it's probably just a you know a fan whatever, but when it's a different team like outside of those teams, outside of the team right here, then it's like you know fucking Boston fans over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know Boston fans over here, man. Let me go see what's happening over here. You know, because it's the truth. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's messed up that it has to be this way. Stay in school. You know, what I mean, you don't want to be dealing with the bullshit. Uh, it's, it's drama, anyways. But I'm just saying that that's how it is. Um, that's how it goes. And, you know, I probably would do a video probably breaking down you know, each neighborhood with their apparel. Um, if that's what you guys want to see. It'll probably be a pretty long video, but I could probably cook up something like that. But I'm just saying um, that's pretty much how it goes, why it happens that way, and what it, what it means. I'm just saying give Shadow Way out.